Today I'm going to be installing bar risers on my 2016 Yamaha FJR 1300. These are the MV Motorrad, came from Germany. Um, purchased them on a Friday morning and received them Wednesday afternoon. So quick shipping. Out of all these pages that were received with the bar risers, Two of them are in English. All these are in German. So if you know German, good for you. But these two are the only pages that are English. Hopefully they will work for me. So as far as the height, let's see. Height's gonna be approximately uh, seven eighths inch. That'll give you about the height of the riser and how much is going to bring it up and then I'm not sure if I'm measuring this correctly but this will give you an idea so you have an about an adjustment of approximately an inch and a half possibly to two inches if I'm measuring this properly and just in case here's the top holes it's about an inch and a half difference from center to center. But here we go. This is what it comes in. Looks nice, solid. Just to give you an idea as far as the distance from the bars, this is going to be the stock. I have it adjusted to the very closest hole toward me. So coming stock it's going to be in the middle holes but this is this is adjusted to the holes on the closest to the rider. Another view of the stock before the install. All right so before you disassemble the handlebars the instructions tells me to extend the clutch hose clamp. So from this illustration, it's telling me to use this extension. So it frees up the clutch hose on the left side of the handlebar and the clutch hose clamp is this one right here. Let's zoom in right here. So, ah, better. Okay, so I have to unscrew that. That's going to be a six millimeter um, wrench. And I'm going to extend it, put the six millimeter uh, screw in here, oops, in here, and screw this on to the frame. Just like this picture. So it's going to be just like this picture at the end. Okay, so when you originally receive this bracket, it's going to have this screw into a threaded hole. Well, you're going to unscrew this, and this is actually going to go into the non-threaded hole, okay? Um, and I put some blue Loctite on this. Put a little bit more. Eh. Okay, this bracket... Zoom in. This bracket on the clamp, you're going to separate this out. This uh, hose clamp had a lip on the bottom, so I just flattened it out with some pliers. And I'm going to put it back on the, the clutch hose. And then you're going to fit this bracket in the threaded side. You know, put it in between the clamp and screw the original stock stock screw. I put some blue Loctite on there. Not sure if it's going to help any. Okay. 
Okay, so I put the clamp on the extender. Now I just put some um, some blue Loctite. Oops, some blue Loctite on this um, screw. Going to put it into this uh, unthreaded hole, and then uh, going to screw it into the hole that's on the frame where the original bolt was attached to. Alright, so the clutch part is done as far as extending the hose out. That's what it... Come and zoom in. That's what it looks like with the extended bracket. So it raises it up. Raises it up a bit. Alright, so the next set of the instructions says to adjust the brake line on the right side. So they include this bracket or this adapter with the screws as shown already screwed in and they're referring to removing this this bracket this um, L bracket and replacing it with this these are going to be five millimeter allen wrench and the stock Bolts are going to be four millimeter Allen wrench. When you um, unscrew, unscrew this, this bolt before you unscrew this one. So um, it's a little bit more stable because the manufacturer, they put like red lock tight on this bolt. It was a pain in the butt to to break to break. Hmm. I don't see red Loctite, but it was a pain in the butt to break. All right, so the block is in. This is a pain in the butt to install. Um, anyway, so what I did was I installed this screw into this bracket first because I had a hard time aligning it and s seeing where the bolt lined up. Uh, so I installed this first and then this second. It was a little easier. So you, you pull this out, use a screwdriver or like a flathead to give you some leverage and um, I used an allen wrench to kind of line up the the holes so I can get the bolt in. All right, so next you're going to remove these face plates. Uh, it's a two and a half millimeter allen wrench. You're gonna smell a, a strong smell. Not sure that's from probably the grease. Alright, so next I'm going to loosen up the bolts. The small bolts are going to be six millimeter Allen wrench. The large nuts um, are going to be a 17 millimeter socket. And uh, you might want to use a breaker bar, or if you, unless you have a half drive ratchet, that might work. Alright, so now you're going to set the handlebars aside on the cloth.
So after the handlebars are removed, you're going to use your your um, your riser, your MV motor ad riser. You know, place place it through the holes. Okay. So it looks like you could probably just like um, being able to adjust these handlebars um, in three different um, areas uh, by just moving this back or, or forward. Uh, you could probably do the same with this too, uh, but I'm just going to try at the most forward position since um, I don't need it all the way back. So now you're going to screw screw these in. Okay, it's you have a couple of screws, uh, one shorter than the other. Uh, one actually was uh, screwed into this hole with the nut in place. So um, use the longer one. And this should be torqued at 14 foot-pounds. Okay, so you're going to position your handlebar. Uh, first, move your cables, kind of pull them as, as much as you can after the adapter was installed give give your cable some some room because of the extension okay so to stretch out the lines you're going to need to cut this zip tie so it can release some tension so that actually helped a lot and getting this into the holes. So I'm going to line it up with the two, two, what do you call the prongs? Put the prongs inside the little slider area, line up the holes, and then whatever angle you want, you can use this line. There's a, a, a straight line on both sides, and just use that as a guide as far as what angle you want your bars to be positioned at and how far how far close or back so I would recommend putting this bolt first um, use use this as a guide and make sure to put a towel under here so in case this nut falls it doesn't um, you don't have to chase it um, put this down first and try to use it as a guide so you can locate the allen wrench There we go. Positioned all straight. And then screw this in. And screw this in. This larger bolt, this larger bolt goes into a larger hole. These little things, they're for your faceplate. So you can screw those down a little bit so you can give your, your socket wrench some room. And it's gonna be a 19 inch socket. So that was a, nine, a 19 millimeter socket. 
Uh, this one is a six, six millimeter Allen wrench for the small bolts. So I'm going to torque this uh, 14, 14 pounds, the small one. Okay, 19 millimeter socket. Uh, I'm going to torque the large bolts. Torque the large bolts, 47 foot pounds. Okay, use a uh, zip tie. They supplied a couple of them. You can uh, retie the lines that you just uh, removed the zip tie from. So those screws that's in the large bolt, that's actually that's actually for the face plate that you screw into. So unscrew the small small bolt or small screw, uh, put your face plate on, and then screw the screw it in. Just make sure you just hand tighten these. Don't go crazy. You don't want to strip it. Also, don't forget to screw these on. Um, it's this stock. It's the stock um, nuts that go in, in through that black screw, and it's going to be a 17 millimeter socket. I'm going to tighten those bolts 47 foot pounds and remember it's a 17 millimeter. couple of these little caps, nut caps, and they go, they go uh, on these stock 17 millimeter nuts. Because as you can see, so these nut caps go on these stock nuts right here. And now you're going to get these two little caps. There are like Allen, they're Allen nut caps or Allen screw caps. So they're going to go on here on the um, you also get this little ram mount. I guess you can't call it a ram mount, a uh, little ball. And that goes right here in this little hole. And if you don't want to use these balls, then um, you just screw this screw that they give you in place of the ball. In my case, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try the little ball.
So that's what it looks like with the ball. Let's see if this thing works. Bad. Test it out. So that's what it would look like with the MV Motorad riser. You'll notice that the um, tank bolts, they're a little more, more hidden with these risers because they covered it a bit, but you can still access it. Also, make sure to check the binding. Make sure you're not, um, or make sure you're not binding, I should say. Otherwise, there's probably some more zip ties that you can cut and re-zip re tie, give you a little bit more slack. But looks good. I'm going to test it out. I can't wait. Ugh. So I took a ride, probably about 60 miles or so, and a uh, round trip about 120 miles. Uh, love the riser. Awesome. It's perfect. And I believe it is still adjustable to pull the riser back further or toward you. Um, if you desire so this is is perfect I was like back straight uh, comfortable and uh, great quality work and it came with everything that was needed so hope this video helps uh, good luck to your install if you desire to purchase that or install it um, and give me a thumbs up if this video helped you thanks bye I just went on a 1,200 mile trip uh, in the last two days uh, with these risers um, to get my new lamp seat over at Reading. Nice seats. Great quality. Um, I just keep sliding forward right now because um, of some sort of film. The new, when it's brand new, there's like a coating that is kind of slippery but anyway this is for the riser this video um, this little ram mount I do not like it I don't like the one that came with the riser because when I put my phone up uh, using this mount it blocks uh, all the displays it blocks the gadget or the speedometer and, and so forth so I'm going to actually get a RAM ball, the, uh, let me see, well, the, you know what I mean, uh, an actual round RAM ball, not the one that came with this MV Motorad. Uh, I think it's because of this lip. It doesn't, it doesn't allow the arm to be uh, parallel with the riser, uh, but with the RAM ball, because it's completely round, it will. So I want my arm to be parallel and then my phone to be out here so it's not blocking my gauges. So, but other than that, the riser, awesome. Um, it's so nice that it's adjustable because um, I found that from the ride, I want my bars to be a little more angle because um, I had the bars out here um, the last two days. So I want it out, out here. And with these arrows, it tells you, and with the lines, it tells you, like, um, as far as uh, having them even, to measure them even. So I'm going to pull the bars completely back toward me um, as far as adjustability. And I believe the plate is also adjustable to come this way because of these, um, you'll see the black, the arm that, that came with the bike, um, that can move back and forward. So right now it's completely forward, but these arms I want back toward me. So I'm going to try that tomorrow and see how it goes.